Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. And today's a special day because I'm going to my cherry when it comes to Masterpiece Transformers. Optimus Prime is my first Masterpiece. I would have thought it would have been Soundwave, but honestly, it just ended up being Optimus Prime because... He just landed in my lap that way. Um, thanks to eduff712 and swingpro71. Their Instagrams are down below. I ended up obtaining this uh, piece right here. And honestly, if you're a collector and you're on Instagram, you need to definitely follow swingpro71 because he seems to find everything and uh, posts about it, and it's awesome. So definitely give him a follow. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. This is a uh, masterpiece figure it's a toys r us exclusive uh it is basically a re-release um i do believe they released it in a different style packaging before um and then this was re-released for the uh san diego comic con so you get everything on the back there autobot symbol on the side yeah i'll do it the right way in and then a little bit of info. Uh, the package, accessory wise, it does come with a manual. Just a really quick glimpse. You know, all Transformers should come with a manual. Uh, he does come with roller here, looking really awesome. The wheels do roll. And I love the fact that they casted the light in a translucent red. Details inside look amazing. Then even the undercarriage looks really really good and as for rolling it doesn't roll too bad this is on a hard service some of the tires aren't even touching like the middle ones but it's probably loud to your guys' ears but yeah really cool um piece here and back here sort of flips down and one of the accessories he comes with is Optimus Prime's gun. And as you're probably looking at, like, how is this a gun? It's a really cool gimmick that they did, but it makes the gun sort of loose. Turns into his pistol. Looking really awesome. And by loose, you can sort of, sort of hear it. But this actually just pops right in the back. And Roller can have some weapon reattached. Gun very easy to fold back. Just go like so, and it's together. And roller even transforms a little bit further. So this part actually rotates. This can go back up. You can still keep this flap down, which almost turns it in. It looks like a little gas tank almost. But either way, you can transform that way. Now, the reason he transforms like that. We're going to get into this uh, truck part right here. So one thing I really like is this thing is sculpted and casted solid. Like the logo right there is sculpted in. All the lines are sculpted. A beautiful piece. Like straight out of the cartoon. Um, the tires are rubber. Those chromed rims. Looking really cool. These parts that I brought down already, they actually fold up. You can sort of see the bottom. And they sculpted, like, look at that extra tire down there. The undercarriage sculpt is beautiful. And what's even better is you got these little side parts. And as you open it, look at that foot. You pop it out. Pop it out. And that gives you like extra, extra stands to give it a little bit more support when you're transforming it. Now, as for the back, even the like, like this thing is beautiful. Like when they say that these are masterpiece 
uh, Transformers. It's the, you can just totally see why the love, the attention, the detail. Like those lights are casted in red plastic, clear um, or translucent red plastic, and look at the little latches up there. It, it looks fantastic, and I mean it's throughout this whole uh, part of this truck. So we end up. Let's see, come on, open this up. It's gonna allow me to open it up. interior tell me that does not look sexy then you got this part right here which you cannot have a truck and expect to load it without a ramp I mean that is beautiful 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 and another accessory and I don't even know if it's an accessory. Another figure that you actually get. We get Spike. Very simple uh, design. And... It just looks awesome. I love his little little boots his galoshes but I mean simplified he has knee articulation it's awesome and then he does fit into roller sits in there because you need somebody to drive it and literally can roll up into the back this is blurry into the back of the truck and the doors closed so you can really haul them around which I like it and then to get these doors open I found out you sort of lift up the top because you sort of come down Now, back to sort of reason I had roller transform this way is because if you put the legs up, spike and roller can, uh, you know, haul the trailer away. Which is really, really cool. I, I like that. I like that quite a bit. Just to have those extra little details and things you can do with such a beautiful figure. I haven't even really got to the figure yet. Then we can go ahead and open this up. Look at that. And then, of course, you know, you can pull out this part to extend it. There's your ramp going up. So we're going to do a little aerial view of everything that's inside. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back part you have a little command station right here um, this part actually flips up um, so you can actually flip the seat down flip it back up spike can sit in there and then I'm sort of rotating to apologize for any noise then you have this side that did the same thing another command station and the seat basically flipped up now, that isn't the whole reason that I ended up 
showing you the back. It's like, cool, some seats pop up. But nah, there's some really, really cool things going on. And that is this piece. This piece goes up. Tons of articulation. Like, you get a claw, man. An actual claw. Even, uh, this little little machine is awesome. Like the claw opens and closes. It's got some good articulation, and uh, on top of that, you got the, like this sort of satellite dish saw blade. I, I really don't know what it is, but that can go all the way back, forward, and it rotates. And even this little cab shuttle thing rotates. And it looks awesome. And this pops up like so. Like, that spike's just like, why am I even riding Rover when I can just get in this bad boy? That's so awesome. And all this is casted in solid, like, blue plastic. And I dig it. Like, I love the sculpt. You know, I could sit here and complain, oh, they could have done this and added paint. Like, nah, they, they gave us quite a bit. Like, Spike can sit there and control and grab stuff. So once everything's packed up, one thing that is really cool is you get to uh, pop down some little tabs. And it gives you enough to get this guy out. So he gets full rotation. You know, it can be being pulled by Optimus. And still be able to use his arm and assist with whatever is needed to be done. I find that to be really, really cool. So, again, Hasbro just knocking out of the park with these. And I guess, you know, and, and I do apologize if I'm, like, overly excited. But, you know, again, this is my first Masterpiece Transformer. And I can definitely see, you know, why people invest in... The dollar value, dollar value, <laughs> dollar value that actually backs the uh, product up. I mean, it's it's worth the money. Um, of course, if you find it on sale or get discounts or whatever, I mean, that's always good. But I mean, it's it's a very solid figure. So let's go ahead and take a look at the meat and the potatoes of this package. Here we got the meat and potatoes. Not really physically meat and potatoes, but you have Optimus Prime. We looked at his cab. Now we got the bot. He does come with a weapon. Uh, he came with the pistol, obviously, but he comes with another weapon, and he wouldn't be Optimus without his Energon axe. And this thing is made out of a nice translucent uh, orange plastic. Um, it, just the plastic they use sort of makes it feel tacky and not really, almost like a sticky, but not really. So it's just the plastic they use, um, but it looks awesome. And, you know, you can see his fist is just going to end up popping into it, um, which I'll attach it onto him so you can see it a little bit later. Let's take a look at the figure. That's why you guys are watching this review. If you're watching it. I hope you are. Um, but his head sculpt. Look at that. It's perfection. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece. He does get some rotation. I mean, with Transformers, they're looking left to right is stiff. Because it's the neck that rotates, not the head. But he does get really good looking down motion and he can sort of look back so and that's because this whole piece was tilting but he can get some nice views there i love the autobot symbol actually being sculpted in and painted no sticker um one thing i did add on that uh you know you got this little part that flips out flips down and what do we got here that's where he stores his pistol right into his back and just like this this figure is a heavy hefty figure and if you're a transformer fan or you just like transformers it like optimus is a must have for everybody he is an iconic transformer um along with you know megatron like those two are must haves um and now that I have a taste of Masterpiece figures, oh, let the addiction begin. 
but look at the detail there. I don't know why this sort of, sort of has a little bit of a gap there. Arms looking awesome, chromed out exhaust, a little paint details. Uh, his index finger does. Oh shit! Oh whoo! It just popped out of its little little thing. I almost had a heart attack there. All right, so his finger does bend in this way. Oh, here I'll rotate it so you can see it a little bit better. So that's as far. If you try pushing it, it's gonna end up popping out of its little thing. So you get some finger motion uh, out of this, and you can bend it all the way that way. You just have to move them all as a whole to make that fist. So yeah, I almost thought I broke it, and I was about to flip out. Um, so let's take a look at this hand. I do believe this hand is the same way. Yep. So you got that trigger finger, um, but to bend it all, you got to move them all to so get that fist. So in that case... Oh, I guess, well, huh, I guess it does move down at this part, so it bends all the way there, but not here. So, I learned something today. And as his gun, pistol, um, should just pop right into his hand, uh, he does have these little tabs, and you can see the tabs actually in the hand there. I don't know if that's something I have to worry about. Let me try. Yeah, tabbing it in allows them to keep the hand or the gun nice and snug. And then you can close this part. And then you can just sort of pose it. However, but that looks pretty awesome. Let me go ahead and put his Energon thing on here. Let's see. Energon X just slides over the fist like so, you know. But I mean, it's pretty awesome. You can gear up really, really well. And I love the fact that his pistol can actually be stored in the back. And it has the little tabs to make it snug into his hand so it's not all loose. And again, I don't know how I feel about this plastic of the Energon weapon. It's like a... It's weird. So, back to the figure itself, as I got sidetracked. Um, this sculpt is on point. The detail. Um, I love the translucent yellow. Like, they went crazy with translucent plastic. Um, I like the look of this, but I don't know why it's... I don't like how he has, like, a weird hole right there. Very weird. I don't know if it's a hole or just where they had to glue it, but that part takes away. Um, articulation, like his legs go out quite a bit. All those nice ratchet joints. Love that sound. It does rotate. No, maybe not. Yeah, no, he doesn't rotate. I thought he rotated here but he does not so he's got the nice hip the knee um these are actually die cast right here his feet are they get some pivot and you get the toe bend foot bend like good articulation on this actually so you can get him to pose and some nice little mid-motion positions And again, I, I love the fact that this is a solid figure. There's not a bunch of hollow pieces. And the wheels on him are rubber as well. They don't really roll as nice. This one does. This one doesn't. These two really don't. And then the only thing that really feels hollow is this part. Um, and that's because the gun goes into it. Now another cool little add-on to this figure... Besides it already being cool like this, pop his chest open. And then this flips up. And inside, if I 
fucking pop it out of here. Come on. Is emptiness. No, I'm joking. Sitting back here. I guess it's his is uh all spark or whatever you want to call it. Um but it's pretty awesome. This is die cast. It's got that plastic uh translucent blue inside and the way it's molded gives it a nice little like crystallized energy look. Light hits it. Um it's just silver metal. Um, and then they painted it like a bright orange, but the actual, uh, there's a, like a darker orange or reddish wash over it. And this thing just looks beautiful. Like, it's awesome. Like, and it has a little bit of weight to it. And it's really easy to put back in. You literally sort of place it in there. And then you just push. Actually, it didn't even have to push. So let's go ahead and transform him to truck mode. Optimus in truck mode, looking amazing. Um, first time putting it together, it was going pretty smooth. Um, but then, you know, a bunch of little things happen. <laughs> but as you can see... Spike just fits right in there. I mean, this thing's awesome. It's got like the chromed out headlights. As you saw when I started, I didn't realize there's mirrors that flip out. So that's really cool. And he does roll. Um, one of the things that I thought well, it wasn't rolling, there's actually pieces that fold over that were sort of keeping the tires nice and snug, which is a good thing because you don't want your Optimus Prime sounding all loose and stuff but it's a very very solid figure you can see the little die cast piece right up there but i mean the undercarriage looks really nice been cool if those were actually translucent plastic for the tail lights chromed out exhaust coming out the top this is the optimus prime i grew up with this is what I used to watch when I watched Transformers. Like, this is Optimus Prime to me, not the one from the movie. This is Optimus Prime. And what we'll even do is yeah, Optimus can haul his entire trailer, which is nice. And it rolls nice and smooth. So, in my opinion so far, I mean, this is definitely the ultimate Optimus Prime that a Transformer fan should have. But there's one last part of this review that I gotta show because it's dealing with the cab and Optimus in robot mode. This is the trailer in another mode. And one thing I did notice as I was putting him back into bot mode, if you look at his little things, they actually are articulated antennas or something so it's really cool um now his little trailer you know you got the little shuttle thing up there i guess i'd be working on uh optimus when he comes into here so he would stand like so and his axe Doors right there. And the gun, his pistol, stores right there. So you can really have him, you know, getting worked on. You know, Spike can be, you know, wherever at this point. He can be inside that little shuttle as I just dropped him. But you can actually, uh, you know, have him grabbing the weapons and whatnot, even though it's weird that an Energon weapon would be right there. I would think that he could just form it. But hey, it's a cool way of storing the weapons and stuff. And honestly, again, my first Masterpiece figure, definitely not going to be my last one. I love this figure, and I highly recommend it. So I thank you guys for watching my Masterpiece Optimus Prime unboxing and review. 
Uh, if you like what you saw, add a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. And most importantly, in all ways, good luck hunting. Keep on collecting and have a wonderful day.